This game contains elements that are sensitive and disturbing, and may be unsettling to some players. The character storylines environments within the experience are fictitious creations and should not be interpreted as representations of real life situations or individuals. Indeed. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a game called My Eyes Deceive. In which, at least as best I understand it, you play the character of a small child in a world which is ravaged by disease, and you are in someone's shelter who is supposed to be looking after you. And as that little disclaimer hinted at the beginning, it suggested that this may be um, a little dark and disturbing with slightly more serious subject matter than usual, but uh, we shall see how it goes. I believe it also has some form of choices and multiple endings, so we shall see what happens. Drink some water. Yes, so I believe that uh, I am being instructed to take the pills by the owner of the shelter who um, who presumably is giving me these pills in order to protect me from the disease which is ravaging the world outside. Oh, I see. That's not actually appearing on my screen. That's actually part of the environment itself. That's interesting. Prepare some food. I think I'm a little short to be handling knives, but all right. I presume this is the food? That is my food for today. Oh, I see. You just mean sort of put it on a plate. You don't mean, um, you don't mean carve it up. All right. Um, where can I put it? Can I put it on the counter, perhaps? Or, or I can put it in the microwave. Okay. Cook up a little bit of dinner. At least we've got plenty of, uh, Electricity and running water, which is more utilities than you usually get in the apocalypse. All right, um, can I perhaps put it down on the table and eat it? No. Where am I going to eat my dinner? Um, unless it's still in here and I need to take it out. No, I have just blasted it twice, which means it's probably slightly more radioactive than, uh, than the world out there. Oh. No, no, I did need to blast it twice. All right. Well, you can't expect every small child to be Gordon Ramsay, I suppose. All right, um, I suppose it's time for a shower. Yes, indeed. So I believe we're going to, um, as we are, follow some sort of normal instructions about daily life. But, um... I think eventually we have a hankering for going outside. Am I not finished? Do I not do all of it? Must I be additionally thorough? I do like this music. Or atmosphere, perhaps. Would, perhaps it would be better to describe it as such. It's um, it's quite uh, it's quite nicely done. I do find it curious that I seem to slow down as I go into the doorways. That's um. That's an interesting touch. Alright, when you say wait, do you literally just mean sit about, or do you mean um, perhaps interact with some other things? You look thirsty. Oh, I noticed a watering can over here. Perhaps I could, um, perhaps I could water my little plant? That seems like a, a good way to use my time. This one looks a bit thirsty as well. Oh, okay, I don't need to fill it from the sink. Okay, I am, I am a well-prepared small person. This is excellent. This is, um, nothing all that creepy is going on at the moment, but, uh, it was just, oh, it stops doing that when I look away, that's why the shower didn't work. Oh. Scales have fallen from my eyes. Grow big and strong, little plant. Oh, I hope it's doing alright with just the artificial light. Is there any particular difference between artificial artificial and uh, a natural light when it comes to uh, photosynthetic plants. Hello? Um, hello? Oh, the, um, 
the, the, the door is open. Hello, darling. Are you here? Yes. Will you come down today? No. You should really know better. You could get infected. Did you take your pills? Yes. They're making me feel sleepy again. Then you should probably go to bed. Can't you tell me a story from outside? Please? Okay, but I will keep it short. Today I saw a very scary creature. Upon seeing it, I felt immense terror. However, I managed to escape. That's why you mustn't try to leave. I'd hate for them to find you. Thank you for protecting me. I'm very tired. I think I'll go to bed. Before you go, I have something for you. A diary. So you don't get bored. Thank you. Okay now. Sleep well. You see, as of yet, and, 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 and at this point, I have no reason to believe that that isn't my real father, and I have no reason to believe that he actually has any ill intentions. Oh, that's a ventilation shaft. I do sincerely apologize. After the discussion of the diary, I thought that was a piece of paper, and the black lines were sort of lines of text, and it was stuck on the ceiling. I do sincerely apologize. My brain goes to strange places sometimes. Um... Yeah, but what with that disclaimer at the beginning, I uh, have every reason to believe that this is not going to be as uh, as paternal and as protective as it currently seems. But we shall see. All right, do I have a pen? Today, Papa gave me this diary. I'm so happy. He also told me a story from outside. It seems like a very scary place. You'll hear from me tomorrow. Hmm. What's with the enlarged O's? Is that just a oddity of the handwriting? Or to imply a, a childlike um, penmanship? Or is that something more? Oh, the lights are off. Goodness. It must be bedtime. All right, then. Um, I don't like this. I don't know, I just feel, I just feel disturbed already. But we shall see. I believe we play this game over the course of one week, so it seems it's night time on the first, of the first day, and we shall see uh, what happens. What's going on over there? It's like there was some smoke. I presume that this is a bad dream I'm having. Um, alright. There's a... There's an avenue of escape here, perhaps. Um, can I... Can I, can I, can I leave? Well, I can try, but, um... Goodness knows whether, uh... Goodness knows whether that was wise or not. Alright. Are the, uh... Are the dreams a side effect of the medication that I'm taking? Or, uh... Are they just uh, a more natural occurrence of being trapped down here with no um, with no sunlight, no exposure, and very little social interaction? I um, I uh, I have completely lost my train of thought. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Um, let's have some more dinner. At least now I know not to constantly look away from things. I can just bang my hand on the desk and make a horrid noise on the microphone and sincerely apologize for it. Okay then, so I've had my dinner. I am 
I don't know how I get a lot of exercise in this place. Do I have some toys here? I still have stuff to do. Okay, so I need to um, maybe wait. Wait until I've done my chores before I'm able to um, before I'm able to play with my toys. I'm just trying not to think about the fact that if a uh, nuclear apocalypse comes, the uh, those of us who are perhaps fortunate enough to survive, depending on how you define fortunate in such a scenario, will um, will perhaps end up in places like these. All right, can I play with some of my toys? I don't know what this is. Perhaps some sort of a drawing tablet, kid pad, free runner. Oh, is this like a Oh goodness. Oh. Oh goodness. It's like a it's like a game. Oh, okay. I I've seen games like this before. So the idea is to sort of avoid the um to av avoid the, uh, the the little bad pixels whilst um whilst surviving the uh, the countdown. Okay. Oh goodness. Are there going to be 30 of these little things by the end? I do hope not. I do follow a very um nice smooth manner. Odd that I don't follow that because I seem to move in um, in sort of cardinal directions but it will in sort of a linear pattern as it were in you know, sort of straight lines but they seem to follow much more uh, complicated complicated curvy patterns which is curious. They seem to have a bit of inertia as well. Oh, oh goodness. Enough, enough games. Enough games we must, um, we must attend to our jobs. I don't know where the choices come in yet, whether those are in later days, or whether perhaps I have a choice regarding the medication. I'm back. How are you feeling? I feel very good. I slept amazingly. Even though I had a weird dream. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry. Did you take your pills today? Yes. I really have to take them every day? Of course. It's for your own good. They prevent you from getting infected. It's important that you take them every day. Okay, I will. Did you find something today? Uh, yes. I managed to gather some food. And other supplies. Did you run into a monster again? Unfortunately, yes. The world outside is a mess. Monsters are imitating human voices. If you hear anyone besides me, do not make a sound. They mustn't find you. I'm scared. What if they make your voice? How do I know it's really you? Let's think of a password. What about Apple? What's that? A sparse resource. A delicious type of food. If I manage to find one, I'll give it to you. I'm excited. Aren't you tired yet? Now that you mention it, I should get to bed soon. Good idea. Good night. So that tells me that um, it, it's not just part of the game design that we can't see the uh, the father's character. It's actually um, it's actually part of the whole uh, whole system of protection, for want of better terminology. Um, I can still play this game. Okay. I thought I wouldn't be able to play because um, I had I had jobs to do. Okay. Well, I'll play one more level, I suppose. 
I don't know if um, you get anything. I highly doubt that a, a final ending is going to be relevant to... Um... Oh, I see. You don't sort of die and reset the level. You just... Um, the timer just resets. You need to... Uh... You just need to... Um... To... Uh, uh, to... Stay, stay away from them for 10 seconds. Right, sorry, I don't know why that took me so long to understand. Never mind. Um, it doesn't matter. So why is... What, what, why is the father uh, refusing to let his... Let the character see... Refusing to let the character see uh, him and just speak to her. Hmm. Um... Select the left drawing, select the right drawing, or confirm. So we've this spiky landscape, or we've got what looks like a corridor with a dark shadow in it. Looks like there's an arm on the right there, and possibly legs in the shadow. Hmm. That seems a little bit more uh, connected to the environment that we're currently in and perhaps this is the beginning of some of the choices I'm allowed to make. So let's choose the one on the right. This music seems very familiar from somewhere. Today Papa told me about something called Apple. He said it's very rare because the world outside is a mess. I'm scared of the outside. There are many monsters. One thing I do find slightly slightly interesting is the the penmanship seems to imply quite a young child but on the other hand the dialogue seems to contain some rather sort of big words you know things like scarce um, for example which I wouldn't really expect a child of this age to know but um, especially in the apocalypse you'd imagine that literacy rates would go down quite severely but um, perhaps I'm making a mountain out of a molehill I think that's the trapdoor from upstairs, actually. Am I? Oh, goodness, sorry. I thought that was a still image that I was looking at. But, um... But it's not... Goodness. This is a truly unique heart style. So can I... Can I choose to go back down? Oh, no, I can't. There's... There's something in the way. It looks like rolled up blankets or something preventing me from going back through. Okay. This is a very strange visual effect. I've never seen anything quite like this before, but it's a very effective effective way of communicating the uh, strange haziness of a dream. Right, I don't know which way we should go. I suppose we picked the right painting, so let's go the left corridor this time. See what we find. Presumably this is what my... Uh, childish mind is imagining the rest of the world looks like outside beyond my trap door one thing I do find curious is that the child has no knowledge of the outside seemingly there's there's no memory of the outside which implies that implies that they were perhaps born after the apocalypse began and they were perhaps born down there. But then you'd imagine that they must have been raised by somebody, at least beyond like the, the toddler stage, until they were able to, you know, handle cutlery and, and, and perform basic tasks for themselves. You'd imagine they must have some memory of, of, um, of more substantial interaction with, with human beings. But, um, Perhaps I'm trying to apply logic somewhere that it doesn't necessarily belong. What's this? Is this the apple? Is that an apple? Oh! Look more like a raspberry to me, but that's, um... That's, that, that doesn't matter very much. Okay, let's, um... I suppose we should be obedient, although I'm really not sure that this is a wise idea to continue taking these pills, because I have a horrid feeling uh, what kind of pills they are if they induce uh, 
if they induce such uh, sleepiness. I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of med a lot of medication induces drowsiness, so perhaps I'm just jumping to hor 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 horrible conclusions. Speaking of horrible conclusions, where's my food? No food? I should check the cupboard. Oh, I've also just realised that... I've also just realised that the father must come down here. Oh, goodness, I didn't water the plant yesterday. One responsibility I have in this place, and I can't get him right. Um, the father must come down here because he delivers me food each night, doesn't he? Or at least he has. He did last night, not uh, or rather the night before last, I should say. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! I really, really, really should have watered these yesterday, and I completely forgot I was too busy playing video games. If that isn't a message for me about real life, then, uh, then I don't know what is. I don't have any other plants, do I? Any that I've managed to forget about. Do I have one in here? No. Okay, then. Alright. Alright, let's see if there's anything in the cupboard. There's some old food left. Oh. I suppose it's better than nothing. I mean, it was natural that things were going to get worse as the days went by, but, you know. I don't know. I suppose as a, uh... As a recently graduated student, I suppose it's only, uh... I, I shouldn't be too averse to eating old, outdated food. Rather than, um... Having haute cuisine. Right then, can we play on the rocking horse? Well we, well, we can rock the rocking horse, but I might not be, um, I might be a bit too big for it, judging by my, um, judging by my height. Alright, um, I suppose we should play some more video games now that we've attended to our, um, oh, giddy, I forgot the controls. I thought we were, um, using the mouse for some silly reason instead of the, uh, W, A, S, and D keys. Probably should have emphasized that beforehand, because, um, wasn't, uh, it perhaps wasn't obvious. I get the impression by the end of this there actually will be 30 of these little, uh, 30 of these little bees. I do actually wonder whether it might just be a sound strategy just to do this. This seems like it might work quite effectively. <laughs> um... Yes, I think I need to stop trying to apply, uh, uh basic bits of logic to this game. I think it's a bit more focused on the narrative than it is on the um, on the logic because I was about to start uh, yammering on about why there's no uh, cable for this device and why there's no outlet. Where father is, I would have imagined he would have been here by now. Hmm. I'm going to um, have a look see if uh, See if I can do anything up here. Can I? Can I interact? Here we are. The door is locked shut. Okay. Well, I suppose that shouldn't surprise me, but um, for some reason it does. Can I put my watering can back? No. Okay. So I'll just uh, I'll just carry that around with me, I suppose. Right. Is everything else still? Uh, Everything else still seems to be above board. I guess I can. Can I go to bed? Can I write in my diary? I wouldn't know what to write. Okay. Yes, I suppose it's true that each time I, I merely recount the, um, the events of my conversation rather than anything else, given that is the major event of the day. So. Um, I suppose it's natural that I wouldn't have a lot to say just yet. Oh dear. The problem is that I'm kind of stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea here. Because on the one hand, I think to myself, if the father has gone, then at least that means that none of the... 
yeah, yeah, that's the question that was in my mind as well. None of the, um, none of the abuse that I presume is occurring is, uh, is going to continue to occur. On the other hand, it also means I'm going to have to, um, fend for myself. Father? Are you here? Where are you? I'm scared. Uh, he didn't come today. Right in your diary. Oh dear. The uh, the sudden change in the sound is um is fitting but also a little disturbing. It makes me feel very alone. Very isolated. Okay. He didn't come home today. Why am I being offered a choice here? Both of these seem the same to me. I know what this music reminds me of. I've suddenly remembered. Um, in the Evil Within, uh, where where you have those little rooms with the mirrors in them, where you can go to um, the sort of the, 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 the safe place with the nurse, uh, where you can get the upgrades. There's a little tune that plays there. It remind this is what that is reminding me of. Hmm. I'm not going mad. There is no difference between these two images. There's not even any difference in like a spelling or font or anything, is there? All right. I suppose we'll go for the left one this time, since I've been left all alone. Today, Papa didn't come home. I was alone and scared. I hope he comes back tomorrow. I hate it when I'm alone. I, um... There is one detail that I have, uh, thus far been assuming that I now realise I don't actually have any basis for making that assumption. I was originally assuming that we were playing the character of a little girl but I, uh, I don't actually think we've had any information to, um, to imply that one way or the other. You want some water? Um, alright, this doesn't exactly seem the time, but, uh, alright, if you're still thirsty, I mean, I didn't water you yesterday, so I apologise for that. I suppose it's only fair that I try and make up for it. Am I supposed to water them every day and every night? I don't know. I'm uh, I'm not an expert when it comes to house plants to be um to be quite frank. Also, is it my imagination or are the subtitles going by a little slower than they used to? Is that perhaps um an effect to imply my sleepiness in the way that your sort of thoughts your thoughts can slow down a lot when you're when you're drowsy. So perhaps that's uh, what it's trying to convey. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just rather perturbed. Okay, let's go to sleep and um, hope that tomorrow is a little more pleasant. Oh, I'm looking at like a the, the crease of a of a door. I also seem to be in an elevator. It would seem. Um, oh, goodness. Okay, you want to play that game with me where you change the world as soon as I turn around. Alright. These dreams seem a little... Uh, a little worse each time. Both in terms of the sort of the visual effect which implies uh, greater mental strain and the um, the environments seem to get a little more intimidating as well. I thought I could see some more of that uh, strange smoky effect, but I don't think uh, I don't think it was. I think it was just some light uh, catching off the, uh, the cr no there again. Yeah, I think that is the light. I don't think that is the uh, I don't think that is the smoke. If you don't mind, oh, yeah. if you don't mind, I'm just gonna walk into um, walk into the end of the corridors because you never quite know where the sort of cutoff point is for it um, changing the level that you're in. So um, 
It might give you a bruised nose, but it certainly increases the chance of you getting where you want to go. I suppose it's natural that I'd have dreams about this, given it's such an integral part of my life, but, um... Can I go up these steps? No. No, I can't climb them. Alright, is there a, a, a doorway out of this place? Because, uh, as I've said before, <laughs> there's nothing inherently disturbing going... Oh, gosh. Although there's nothing inherently disturbing going on... Um, just, uh, just feels like I've gotten a little drunk and I've started wandering around some form of, uh, some form of staircase warehouse. Oh, there's nowhere else to go, is there? There's nowhere else to go. Alright. At least, since it's a dream, I don't have to worry about breaking my legs. Where is it? Here it is, over here. Day six. What the hell? I thought it was day four. Wasn't yesterday day three? It was, because that was the third meal I'd had, and there's still no food. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go hungry today, aren't I? Oh. Um, have I been asleep for several days? Is that the problem? I was told that this game was about 45 minutes, I think, for uh, for a single playthrough. Maybe a little longer if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to see uh, multiple endings. Although I'm still not entirely sure how you would see multiple endings. I don't feel like the, um... I don't feel like the choices in the in the diary are all that significant. There's still some old food left. Okay, well I'm I suppose on the one hand I'm glad I didn't eat it all yesterday, but now it's even more aged and mouldy. Oh dear. Maybe that's a contributing factor towards the dreams if I'm eating uh, if I'm eating unhealthy food then perhaps that's um, perhaps that's affecting me there was always that old myth about eating cheese specifically blue cheese I believe um, causing nightmares I think there's also something about lobster doing that as well um, I don't know if there's any truth in that I mean I could imagine it being true on a, a sort of a basic chemical level if there were um certain chemicals within certain foods that could perhaps affect your um, your biology in one way or another, but I feel as if dreams are probably the yes, yeah, yeah, the, the, these subtitles are definitely moving faster than they were last night I feel like um, I feel like dreams are, are if anything, their electrical impulses running around your brain, and I'm not entirely sure that those would be affected by things like blood sugar or um or things like that, but um, I know very little of biology, and I know even less about brain chemistry. So I'm going to um, I'm going to shush, and I'm going to play the game within the game. Oh, giddy -yard. I actually think you do start at a bit of a disadvantage by doing the level um, for the for, uh, sort of starting on that level, as it were, because when you go to a new level the pieces all remain where they were at the culmination of the previous level but then when you start a level uh, from the very beginning then you start in the middle and all of the red bricks are spread out across the map versus using this little ta tactic that I've got here I'm able to sort of clump them all up so although there's a lot of them it doesn't really matter because I'm still basically fighting off one entity, as it were, in one space, rather than having to dodge a lot of them. So it's not really turning into a bullet hell. So I think you do stand a, a, a significant advantage by doing a level directly after a prior one, rather than playing each level anew. 
Is it my imagination? Or the... No, it's not my imagination. The lights on the tablet are fading, which perhaps implies we're running out of electricity. Which perhaps means that my point about the battery running out was, um... What's the word? Um, prophetic. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm still left feeling that I don't know if I want him to come back or not. Because on the one hand, I don't want our protagonist to starve to death, and on the other hand, I feel they are strangely safer by themselves, even though they're scared. I don't know. It's just the unknown. It's the fact that I don't actually know if this father character is good or bad. I was um, reading a thing just yesterday about the damaging psychological effects of uh, of social isolation on the human mind, and I imagine for children that's even worse. Not today either. Go and write in your diary. Should I um? I feel I shouldn't, but I am curious as to whether I could perhaps take some more. Maybe I should have a glass of water. Maybe that would, um, I'm not thirsty anymore. Oh, all right. Um, okay. Um, hmm. No, I don't trust them. I feel like they're the source of more problems than they are of benefits at the moment. Oh, here comes the choice. This comes back to what we were talking about, about whether to trust father or not. So if we can trust father... If we can trust father, then I probably should continue to take the pills, because I presume that this infection that he's talking about is an airborne one, and it's coming in through the ventilation here, given that's the only source from the outside world that would be affecting me at this point. So... I presumably need the pills in order to fight off that infection, and if I don't take them, even if I stay here in the shelter, I will suffer from it. Ah, uh, dear. But then on the other hand... Then on the other hand, if I can't trust him, then I definitely should stop taking the pills, because... Because let's not even get into what's probably happening during those dreams. Um, uh, I suppose for the sake of exploring something different rather than going with the status quo, we should stop taking them. Of course, we could uh, replay the game later to uh, see what happens if we choose a different one. He's still not been coming for four days now. Okay, so we just skipped a couple of days then. The pills make me tired. If he's not coming, do I even need to take them? No, I won't take them anymore. Okay, so the choice isn't about whether you as a character actually choose to interact with the pills or not. The choice is, um, the choice is there in the diary about making the decision that makes. That makes a bit more sense. At least I seem to have calmed down a little bit, which is good. Oh, we're back here again. Well, I'm still having the nightmares. Even, even a, a, a chain? A big chain. What does this do? What am I doing? Am I, am I breaking the chain? Am I climbing the chain? I, I don't know. I need to remember to stop looking away from these things because I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. about this. 
this? Not really, no. Um, can, can I walk away? Yes, I can. Okay, I seem to have broken the chain, and I don't know... I don't know what that's done. I don't know if that was another decision that I could make. Hmm, can I go back and interact with the first one? That sounded like somebody breathing, I didn't like that at all. What does this do? Nothing. Okay, I can't interact with this any longer. Alright, that's interesting. So it seems like, perhaps if we're, we're, we're looking at what these images represent, this environment is presumably representing my world, and these chains are holding it up. And if I break the chains, then the... The world is going to collapse. My world is going to collapse. So perhaps this is representing making the decision to cast off, cast off the pills, and no longer exist in the old environment that I was. You should trust, Father. I um I really I, I really don't know whether to trust anybody at this point. I don't even know whether to trust my own senses or to trust my own judgment at this point. So I feel that uh That bar is getting white, isn't it? Yes. Y y yes, I think so. Y yes it is, definitely. Is it worth it? Oh dear. Maybe I um maybe I just need a change of scenery from this from this world, day seven. Yep, well we're not having the pills, so that's a step oh no. Well, I should have seen that coming, shouldn't I? I guess my old narrative design instincts are a little off kilter. There's food. Is he back? Can I change my mind about taking the pills? Well, I can interact with them, but I don't. I don't want to in case it does take the pills, because on the one hand I'm curious to know whether I could change my mind and then actually take the pills this morning, but um, I want, I just want to know if I have that decision rather than actually making that decision, because I, uh, I feel we should perhaps commit to this. Um, I might just water the plants first, if I'm allowed to, before I, um, before I have a shower because I'm a little curious to see if I can finish my game before um, before the battery runs out and before, well, whatever's going to happen today. The plants aren't changing, are they? I had a funny impression at the beginning that the plants were beginning to wither when I didn't water them, but I'm, uh, I'm not convinced that's true anymore. Unless they would be getting stronger, and it's because I keep forgetting to water them, and neither they then don't get bigger. I, uh... I don't... I don't know. Oh, okay, sorry. The interact prompt was, um, slightly slow appearing there for a moment. I presume because we were still going through the dialogue regarding the plant. I thought, uh... I thought perhaps the water had broken. But, um... But no. Oh, giddy. Yeah, see what I mean? See what I mean about being at a significant disadvantage at the beginning? Okay, let me, uh, let me see, I don't know why I tried to do that, it wasn't necessary. I'll tell you something else that isn't necessary, but I'm going to talk about it anyway, because I, uh, this game doesn't give me a lot of else to talk about. I've noticed there's two little pixels, there's one just there, and there's another one right there. I don't know if you can see, just as, as blocks pass over them, there's like a single white pixel that remains above the block. Is it like at the source of the light? 
No, it's slightly off center to the source of the light. Curious. Hmm. I don't know whether that's intentional or not. And if it is, I don't possibly know what it could represent or imply. I feel like I'd be reading way too much into it if I was um if I was to uh to try and understand what that might mean. But it's just a little detail that I have noticed. Alright, on to the final level. I suppose it's appropriate that this would be on what I believe to be the final day, if they were true about the uh true about this lasting a week. Oh dear. I have a really, really, really bad feeling about this. Father? You're back. Yes. I'm back. Wait. What's the password? Apple. It's actually you. Where did you go? I'm sorry. Something urgent came up. I had to leave for a few days. It won't happen again. Promise? I promise. How have you been? Have you been taking your pills? I've been alright. I had to eat some leftovers though. But that wasn't a problem at all. What about your pills? Yes. Of course I took them. I'm glad to hear that. Also, as an apology, I brought you something. What is it? That is an apple. So that's what it looks like. Try eating it soon. They're best when they're fresh. I'll try it later. Already feeling tired? Um, yes, a bit. That's good. Head to bed then. Sweet dreams. Oh dear. The dialogue is written in a very nice, and when I say nice, I mean horrid way that um that that, uh, that quite nicely conveys oh it's a red one I thought it would be a green one for some bizarre we don't really have red apples around here um it quite nicely conveys a a very nasty sense that there is something to be worried about from from father like when he says that's good that I'm feeling asleep that I'm feeling sleepy. Can I choose whether I have the apple or not? Can I just choose to go to bed? I'm not tired. Okay, I can't just choose to go to bed. Um Yes, and then when he says to try the apple soon, because it's best when it's fresh. I mean that is true of fruit, so that could be a perfectly innocuous statement, but I have a horrid feeling that there's something in here which is not part of the apple, and I'm not just talking about a worm. Wow, it's so sweet and juicy. Prete pretend, pretend to fall asleep. We're not gonna write? I feel like we've had quite an eventful day. I wouldn't know what to write. Uh, I, I, okay, fair enough, I suppose. Perhaps we've run out of pens. Hello? 
Are you awake? All right. shouldn't be here yet. He didn't close the... What, what, where, where's my diary gone? The least of my concerns, but at least if I pay attention to where the diary has gone, then I've got something to think about and something to. Do. Why is the chair moved? Good. I've now got two things to think about and two things to talk about, which do not involve me thinking and talking about what we experienced and that absolutely horrific noise that we heard. And I can't even water the plants either. There's a trifecta of me of things for me to talk about. I um I don't think that it's wholly necessary for me to discuss what happened. Can I um can I read these papers? Receipt Vitality RX Pharmacy Purchases. Five sedatives. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Seventy-two dollars. That seems extremely expensive for some over-the-counter medication. What are sedatives? I am. So sorry. Police report. Police report. Why would this be hung up here? Spontaneous house inspection. I'm sorry, what? I've never heard of that being done by the police before. Taken to the police station. Due to suspicious purchases. Conclusion. No substantial evidence found. Then you didn't search the house very thoroughly, did you? Case will be closed. Perhaps that was like a letter? A letter that he received from the police? Presumably he was then being held in custody for a couple of days while they examined the house. Why is there no furniture? Oh dear. I... Uh, I genuinely have no idea what we're going to find at the end of this, and that is rather unsettling for me, because normally in a game I can at least predict to some degree what's going to happen. Not perfectly, but to some degree. Basement, main entrance. Oh, that was... The, oh, okay, that... That was the basement, that's why there wasn't much in there. This must be a very uh, odd experience for you. As in the protagonist, that is. What is that glowing ball up there? Well, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't look at it too much, my small friend. Why does it hurt my eyes? Yeah, yeah, please stop looking at it. Please. But we aren't going to get an answer. Wow. 
I recognize this piece as well. This is a highly distorted version of a, fa of a famous classical piece of piano music that I know quite well. That was... That was extremely well written and well executed. I suppose it's sort of natural that it wouldn't have uh, a distinct answer or a distinct conclusion, shall we say, to exactly what happened in terms of what happened to the man and what happened to our character but um, at least we got some answers we did find out what the pills were we found out the father really was not to be trusted I do find myself wondering what happens if you do choose to continue to take the pills um, to see what a sort of alternate ending would look like uh, to this because now that we know they are sedatives they'd they'd make you sleepy again they'd make you sleepy again and then you wouldn't be aware of what happened on the last night, which on the one hand would be good that you uh, didn't go through that trauma and on the other hand would perhaps oh, I don't know, I don't even know if it is worse or not because the worst part is, is this character has been down here in this isolated environment that they wouldn't even know that that they wouldn't even know how wrong that was. And that's the horrific thing. That character in that environment wouldn't even understand that what was happening was wrong if that man said that it was normal and okay, then that child would have nothing else to go on and no reason not to believe them and that is the that is the horrific part of the narrative. Uh, these uh, these sober games have been off the channel for a while, and um, I've always been uh, keeping my eyes open for new ones that we could play because goodness, they are an interesting experience to go through. If that is perhaps the uh, the. the, the the only word that I can think of to describe that um, and uh, I'm glad that we found another um, another quality one to play because it's rather difficult to effectively convey these sorts of things particularly to people that haven't gone through them I feel like that's the uh, that's both the difficulty and the power of these things is to effectively communicate such a complex and personal set of feelings to a person that normally would struggle to relate to them because they haven't been through those experiences themselves. And the games that can effectively do that are the ones that are very worthy of, um, of all the praise that they rightly get. So I am going to leave that there, I think, because that was a very disturbing experience to go through, but I feel it's I feel it's important to play these. I feel it's very important that these sorts of games exist, and I feel it's important that um, I feel it's important to play them and to um, to to help expose them to to a wider audience because I feel uh, A better understanding and an appreciation of these very serious issues, although it seems like a woeful understatement to describe them as such, is important. So, um, I shall say thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I shall say look after each other, 
and good night.